So guys, remember I told you guys that the APC and Balamet Tinibu have been looking for a way to arrest Mr. Pitobi. They found, look for a way, they, they, they did not see any single way to arrest him. Now they want to use through the Labour Party led by Julius Abure to find a way to arrest Mr. Pitobi because Pitobi is their nightmare and they don't know, they, they don't even know how to arrest this man so that you know he will stop exposing them and their rascalities and illegalities. I'm going to show you how they are trying to maneuver or probably follow through Julius Abure and the Labour Party to arrest Mr. Pitobi. You know, it is very funny and quite pathetic. You know, today, Julius Abure, a man that a lot of obedience trusted, you know, decided to go gaga. And today, he came out and said that the EFCC, as a matter of fact, should come and arrest Mr. P2B, Aisha Yusuf, and other people. I'm going to tell you what he told the EFCC that P2B did. A whole Julius Abure that a lot of people respected. But, but you can see that, you know, when they say that power intoxicates, a lot of people might not really understand that particular statement. This man, your tenor has expired. And instead of him to give up and conduct a accommodate an extensive national convention where new leaders will be elected. Julius Abre doesn't want to leave that particular position at the chairman of the Labour Party. He, you know, Conning uh, selfishly went and organized a mini uh, a conference and you know re-elected himself as the Labour Party chairman. Peter B said no, it will not happen. You know, Peter B is a man that loves uh, 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 the rule of law to be obeyed. He must obey the rule of law to the end. He said no. That he told Julius Abre that before you conduct any national convention, that you must consult everybody. And everybody must be present before you do any convention. But Julius Abre, because he knew what, what he wanted to do, he wanted to re-elect himself, you know, organize a mini and a selfish uh, convention. But that is that for that. Let me even show you what Julius Abre accused me to be of and what he told uh, the federal government and the EFCC to do. They said as you see that the Labour Party asked EFCC to probe to be Aisha Yusuf and Afinefre over alleged misappropriation of, of funds. They said that the National Working Committee, NWC of the Labour Party, led by Julius Abure, has called on the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission and the National Security Advisor Bin uh, Nuhu Ribadu to investigate the party's 2023 presidential candidate Bin P2B, activist Aisha Yusuf, Pastor Itwa Iwadale, Iwadalu, and leaders of the Pan Yoruba group Afinefre for the alleged misappropriation of, of campaign funds. And before I even continue, remember P2B gave $1 million to his own campaign. He was the only person that contributed such amount of money. One million dollars. So how could a man who contributed one million dollars, which is close to about one billion naira, you know, embezzle money? You know, this is just an APC ploy and script or playbook to arrest Mr. P2B through the level party. Like I've said, Dave, APC, you know, since P2B said that if you find any corruption case against against him, whether when he was the governor or when he left as the governor of Anambra State, that he should talk immediately, that he will end his political ambition immediately. You know, that particular statement he did, nobody has actually come up with any single evidence that P2B embezzled any money. And now APC is trying to use Labour Party and co. Now they cannot even, they are trying to attach Mr. P2B to this so that they can find a way to be pointing on him so that EFCC will come and arrest him and Balami Tinibu can actually in cage him ahead of the 2027 presidential election. Let us continue. They said that at a press briefing on Wednesday in Abi Okuta, the Labour Party's National Publicity Secretary, Ben Aboyemi Arami Arabambi, you know, raised concerns over the diversion of over 12 billion. Uh, 12 billion naira and 15 million dollars, you could imagine, in donations meant for the Labour Party's 23 presidential campaign. The party's leadership accused Aisha Yusuf and Pastor Ihodalo of working alongside P2B to siphon campaign donations. To siphon campaign donations. Meanwhile, it is the Labour Party that have been collecting all these donations. So, and this is one of the reasons why P2B told Abure to resign. Because a lot of allegations came up that Abure embezzled money and you know all the donations we are made to uh, he, he transfer the money to his siblings' account, to his own personal account. A lot of alleged allegations accusations accusations were leveled against him. P2B said, okay, fine. In a, in a civilized country, when such allegations come, you step aside from your position because you cannot be at the, the So P2B said you should step down because you cannot be the Labour Party chairman and still, you know, uh, uh, be under an investigation. But Julius Abure said, no, that he's not going to, you know, step down from that particular position. Let's go ahead. They said that uh, Aram, Aram Bambi, you know, described Obi as a political merchant orchestrating the fraudulent mismanagement of funds. He also criticized Yusufu's recent public remarks, defending himself, dismissing them as attempts to obscure the truth. They said the allegations extended to leaders of Afinefre, the highest Yoruba Panacultural group, you know, including Paayo Adebanju, who is the leader of the Yoruba Afinefre group. You could imagine how rogue this particular Julius Abure and his cohorts have gone. Whom Aram Bambi you know, accused of retaining over 600 million in private accounts. The funds he claimed were meant for the Labour Party's campaign, but we are diverted under obese direction. You know, they found a way to find to, to attach people to this name to you that these funds we are the, uh, the, uh, siphoned and you know diverted under people's 
a direction you know i provide evidence we have to be told people to to siphon or probably divert money you know these are like i've said ploys by the apc the apc has actually infiltrated the labor party through julius abri and his cohort to make sure that they then the image of mr to be and find a way to arrest him but it's not going to work because all these antics a lot of people have known it you know when aisha yusuf so what uh, this accusation they made against her because she was part of the people that said that people to be directed to siphon and divert money you know she said something arabambi said their money is we are siphon we are labor parties we are labor party get money abi is it their poverty that was siphon you know they, they were saying about 12 million 12 billion where did labor party get get 12 billion from during the election and they couldn't have you know agents representing all, all their pulling units and co and 12 billion uh naira and about uh, uh 50 million dollars and co you could imagine that they, they the monies are not even existent so this is what i say you should saying that we are, where is that labor party got the money from you know julius abrid they, they told him i come for this money that is why he has been running from north to south and south to west because he does so julius abrid doesn't even know how to account for this particular money well that's that for that well on another developing story you know uh gani adams who is a prominent global leader came out today and said something as you can see that gani adams likens tinibu to german dictator adolf hitler says nigerians are oppressed disappointed in current administration you know now even the people that supported balami tinibu before the 2023 presidential election are coming against it because it is obvious that even the blind can see that this balami tinibu is a directional directional government that they don't have any direction you know when it comes from another tribe it will look as if uh people are being tribal or uh, because of you know ethnic differences that's why people are criticizing balami and tribal government now his own kinsman this gani adam is a prominent leader in europe and he's the one making this comment that balami and he likened balami and to adolf hitler saying that nigerians are oppressed disappointed in current administration this is what gani adam said in fact in full context he said something he said in the past 16 months your administration has been using propaganda power of coercion and rough tactics to oppress nigerians for how long do you honestly think that 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 despotic strategy will last since last year you have visited many countries the latest being china do you think your foreign counterparts treat their citizens the way you are treating nigeria he you know he equipped this is what Gan adams is at Tinibu. that he, you have been traveling from one country to another do you think those countries you are traveling to will treat their citizens the way you are treating nigeria with all the harsh policies meanwhile you are living flamboyantly and living largely and uh, uh, luxuriously with taxpayers money yeah from china you've gone to uk today on taxpayers money and we don't see the, the one single result of positivity from this your travels and co this is what Ghana adams is actually said the letter with the Ghana adams wrote you know we, we are he said this was termed or was teamed an open letter to president balatini by the arere honor Kankafu of Yoruba land, Eba Gani Abiodun Igwe, Igwe Adams. He said, on the state of nations, he noted that past leaders since 1960, this Ghana Adam noted that, that past leaders since 1960 disappointed Nigerians with the way Nigeria and Nigerians we are badly led and resources selfishly managed. According to the statement, the Tinibu led government came with many Nigerians hoping for a difference. You know, many people, according to them, those that voted for him thought that Bolami Tribu is going to you know bring the difference. We told them we saw it coming. Now this man told you that he, he was just coming to fulfill his lifelong ambition, being to be the president of Nigeria. That was why he was shouting, in low come, people started clapping for him. Now look at where he has you know kept our nation in. in. Now so look at the, so, some of the comments of some people. This person said, I am glad everyone is seeing clearly what Nibu really is. He is a clueless, heartless, and visionless. It, this is the truth. You no, know, of sometimes I don't even blame him because he was basically telling you people when he was invited for debate to go and tell Nigerians what he offer for them or what, what, what he offer to them. He he shunned all the debates. He, he did not come. He was busy shouting Amy local, Amy local. People were clapping for him. Now he, he, he it is not glaring obvious that this man has nothing, absolutely nothing to offer for Nigerians. Look at the harsh economic policies, inconsistent policies, plunging the country into economic instability. And boldly and do it for your therefore. So this person said that he is glad everyone is seeing clearly that Tinibu is really clueless, heartless, and visionless. This other person disappointed. Nah, I didn't expect anything from him. Many people that saw this coming didn't expect said ah that never expected anything from Balami Tinibu. A man that came out boldly and said that he's going to continue from where Buari stop. What were you expecting? Where did Buari stop? Buari that plunged this nation into economic hardship. But Tinibu said he's going to continue from where Buari stopped. APC passing over to that, that that was why a lot of people were wanting APC people and those that wanted to support Banami Tinibu. Don't support this man because he's your tribesman. Look at this is APC. These are best of the same feather. Look at those in, in, in Tinibu's cabinet or ministers today. The same corrupt APC people that sat on that board, majority of them are still in Tinibu's government. 
how how would you see differences how would you bring differences to the country when you are, so how do you expect to see differences when you are uh, re-electing the same people it is basically the truth well that is that for that that's what we have for you guys for today you know do well to subscribe and follow us on this particular channel because we'll be giving you guys up important information and update and do want to drop your comments about this uh probe that julius abude faction is calling on efcc and uh, the national security advisor to come and arrest mr p to be and aisha yusuf and others and question them about 12 they said it's 12 billion and 15 million dollars where is where did labor party get the 12 billion from you know and tell me what you think about this particular statement that Danny adams told uh Tinibu that he has failed and likened him to Adolf Hitler. You know, things people's eyes are becoming more open day by day. Well, like guys, drop your comment, share this video, and make it go viral.